okay this is going to be an answer to my subscriber who wants to know how we had warload on cantilever slab using product structure i'll be taking you through step by step on how to achieve in this starting from modeling your cantilever slab this is the easiest thing you can master in modeling in the modeling process all right okay so the first thing you want to do is to use the slab all right then the cantilever is the type 12 on this box all right type 12 then you might want to edit your thickness i want to stay with 150 mm all right and the concrete cover i want to stay with 20 mm all right and um the loads the self weight of the cantilever as you have um, input your thickness is going to be automatically calculated all right so for the dead load you may want to impute your your value as you are the engineer you may want to impute the specific value for your dead load otherwise you may want to select the equivalent from this so if you are using a room it has equivalent value if you are using a terrace or balcony it has equivalent value so i want to stay with terrace or balcony all right but if you have your personal load that you want to based on your engineering judgment that you want to use you can go ahead to edit this box after you click the enter value all right okay so with this we can still go further for the impost load i want to stay with 1.5 kN per meter square all right because this is a first floor so we may not want to put the roof load we don't have to put it not even we may not want to we, we don't have to put it because we are on the first floor not the roof then the snow load we don't have to put it because we're on the first floor so after then we can go on for the cantilever now this is where um, the subscriber has a challenge now you want to just input the depth of your cantilever slab which is 150 mm then the length of your cantilever how much is the cantilever from the nearest support so i'm placing my cantilever from this grid line from grid line a down to the left all right so i'm placing it by about one meter about one meter all right from this support now this is where your question lies parapet load what you call the wall wall load is the parapet load so how do you how do you estimate for that or how do you do that there is the unit weight of block wall whatever block wall you're using it has a unit weight so i want to use a unit weight of 2.87 so and um i want to maintain a height of um, maybe two meters all right so what you do is multiply the unit weight by the height which you intend to apply so you have 5.74 for that all right so that gives you the parapet load the wall at the very end of your cantilever all right so with this I can now come here to draw my cantilever yes so you see how it is formed now let's check this in 3d to see the effect of application now this is it this this exactly you're seeing here is the load as a result of the parapet wall that has been applied all right so i hope this answers your question if you have further comments queries question you can use the comment section as i'll be there to answer to your request all right so if you're new to my channel and you've found satisfaction in this video or many more i would like that you use, use the subscribe button and um, keep following thank you i'm joshua the designer we'll see you in the next video bye